Hey guys, how's it going? Jeff here with another vid. I'm going to talk about the, uh, it's the Mr. Spicoli Quartermaster Knives. It's a QSE 7. It's a titanium frame lock. And my cat just knocked over my box there. I got my stuff on. But bear with me there. Um... This thing is a flipper, and it flips excellent. It rides on bearings. And it is a tank. I mean, check out this blade stock. It's like a quarter inch. I mean, it's just super thick. It's a beefy knife. Fits a hand. It's super comfortable in the hand. Very smooth. I mean, just just flies out. Now, I know there's a little bit of controversy about quartermasters, but I'm not going to get into all that. I mean, this thing is just, it's been a pretty good knife. Um, I really have no complaints about it. It's got a little chain ring kind of pivot going on there. It's got the, uh, insert the steel bar there going on. Um, it's just, it's not, it's a good knife. I really do like it. The, uh, the clip there. It did come with a, another clip, which is pretty cool. So you can change that to, um, it's left or right, uh, tip up, carry. This is um this is their Texas T. This is the one from Blade HQ. It's got a little uh oh and Blade HQ design little stamp on the inside here on the uh, show side there. It's gonna be really hard to see. I don't think I can show that to you, but this one come with it it came with a the card there. It is uh two eighty three out of three hundred. The steel on this, it's been a while since, I'm pretty sure it's 154 cm. Um, yeah, it's just, the only thing, um, I think they m might have wanted to go a little bit farther on the blade to handle ratio. Could probably squeeze a little bit more blade in there, but it's alright. I mean, the way it just, it fits the hand is, it's really nice. It's got this little dip in it, so when you flip it, it's really comfortable, and it just flies out. Um, it's a little thick down here at the base. I've been kind of working on that a little bit, but, you know, it's still, it's really sharp. It's... It's not a bad cutter. Um, I got some piece of wood here. Let's see if I can get that in frame there for you guys. I mean, it really does bite in there good. Let's see if I can get that off there. Just a tank of a knife. It's, it is a little bit heavy. But, you know. It really does cut good. I just thought I'd show you guys this. I've seen a few videos on the old Mr. Spicoli, but not a ton, so. I thought I'd maybe get this one out. This is in their, uh, it's a Texas T finish, I believe. Everything's stone washed on it. I mean, it's, it's a pretty hard use knife. It's, when I first got it, I took it up to one of my friend's house and 
we were clearing off the sidewalks and there was a lot of snow and there was ice on the uh on the concrete there and I I was actually chipping away with with this on the ice and stuff and there you know there's there's no damage to it at all it's solid there's no wiggle back and forth up and down it's just it's a pretty good knife it's really comfortable it's got a little bit of jipping here which is kind of nice comfortable in that grip Yeah, I just, I really do like it. I mean, it's surprising how thick the blade is. And it really does, it, it cuts really well. This is the um, this is the only quartermaster I have, and I I really haven't been disappointed. I mean, it's it's a pretty nice knife. Hits the hand really well, though. I I'm really surprised and impressed about that. I mean, it's just very comfortable. So, I was just gonna get that out there, and I know there's not a whole lot of videos on this. So, super thick stock uh, jimping it's, it's it's kind of aggressive I mean with gloves on I don't figure it would be too bad but if you're really doing some work with it, it it's probably going to make your thumb a little bit sore but I don't know be alright though Super smooth flipper though, that's for sure. It just, these bearings and stuff. I mean, I have the, uh, oh, the O562, the ZT, the carbon fiber, the Hender design deal, and uh, this is right up there with that. I mean, it's really smooth. I'm thinking that I, it's been a while though, but I think I I think I Loctited the pivot on this one, and it hasn't moved. It's been really uh, it's been stable, so that's a good thing. Um, the, um, the lock engagement it really hasn't moved since I've got it, so it's it's pretty much stayed right there. It's got that insert, so. nice really is a good knife though I'm pretty impressed with it probably have to uh, check into some more quartermaster knives some of their knives are a little funky though a little you know futuristic looking or whatever but it's just kind of what they do you know if it's your personal preference or whatever you're into I mean that's who's to say who's to judge you like what you like and I like this so you guys have a good one later